In a significant move to address performance and durability concerns, Rolls-Royce Holdings PLC is investing over £1 billion, or about $1.3 billion, to upgrade its commercial aircraft engines. This information comes from a recent Bloomberg report, which highlights the company's efforts to improve its position in the competitive aviation engine market. Rolls-Royce, the British engine maker, is the sole engine provider for the Airbus A350 and A330neo models. The company also offers engines for Boeing's 787 Dreamliner. However, recent criticisms from key customers have put pressure on Rolls-Royce to enhance its engine performance, particularly in challenging environments. The focus of this massive investment is a three-stage upgrade program for the XWB engine, which powers the Airbus A350. Simon Burr, Rolls-Royce's Group Director of Engineering, Technology and Safety, outlined the company's plans to improve engine durability, especially for operations in hot and sandy climates like the Middle East. The first stage of upgrades, set to be implemented this year, involves adding more sand-resistant coatings to critical parts of the XWB-97 engine. This modification aims to reduce the frequency of engine servicing, a key concern for airlines operating in harsh conditions. Looking ahead to 2028, Rolls-Royce plans to introduce modified components that will reduce engine temperatures while maintaining the same overall shape. This clever design allows for retrofitting older models, extending the benefits to existing customers. Perhaps most intriguingly, Rolls-Royce is incorporating advanced technologies from its next-generation ultrafan engine into the XWB turbine. This includes the use of new proprietary alloys, which the company claims will significantly improve time on wing, the duration an engine can operate between maintenance cycles. These upgrades are not limited to the larger A350-1000. Rolls-Royce is also working on improvements for the XWB engine powering the smaller A350-900, aiming for a 1% increase in fuel efficiency. Additionally, the Trent 7000 model, used on the A330neo, will receive enhancements to boost reliability. The impetus for these changes stems partly from criticism by industry leaders. Tim Clark, president of Emirates, was quoted in Bloomberg describing the engine for the larger A350 as defective due to its higher-than-usual maintenance requirements. This critique led to Emirates withholding a significant order for the aircraft. Under CEO Tufan Ergen Bilgic, also mentioned in the Bloomberg report, Rolls-Royce has been reshaping its business strategy. The company has been unwinding unprofitable engine contracts, a move that has occasionally strained its relationship with Airbus, but has been well-received by investors. As Rolls-Royce unveils these plans at the Farnborough Air Show, the aviation industry will be watching closely. The success of these upgrades could significantly impact the company's position in the market and its relationships with key customers. For Rolls-Royce, the stakes are high, but so too is the potential for renewed success in the competitive world of aviation technology. Now, do you think Rolls-Royce should have tested its engines for Middle East, a major market, before producing the engines? Let us know in the comments. We bring you some good information on aerospace. Please like and share the video and subscribe the channel.